Welcome back. You know, there's not much more in this life that satisfies me more than some freshly vacuumed crispy carpet. You know what I'm talking about? No? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey, and in this video, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of my desk setup, my desk tour, if you will. Um, probably figured out by the location that this is my master bedroom, and it's temporarily my office. And just wanted to cover a couple quick things with you. Of course, I'll show you what I have working right now, uh, but this is just a temporary setup until I have a dedicated office, which will be in our next house. We've got this corner located for my office, and uh, it works for now. But in the future, certainly got a lot of big plans for the next office, but let's go ahead and take a look at what I've got going on here to show you what I currently have for my gaming and kind of productivity setup. Let's take a look. All right, guys, so you guys probably already saw the uh, kind of slow-mo, the B-roll, if you will, of what I've got going on on my setup. On the right here, we've got my computer, which is the HP Omen. I did an unboxing and an initial thoughts and also like a 30-day review of it. So if you guys want to take a look at that, that's going to be in the description below. Um, amazing computer in short. I even upgraded it the memory to it. So it's got twice as much, 16 gigabytes total versus the original 8 now, uh, up here, I've got my Razer, I uh, forget the exact model of these, but I'll figure that out for you guys. Headset, it's been a great headset for me. It's actually my first Razer product, and it's great for gaming and uh, kind of doing some commentation, if you will, I guess. Uh, but it works really well. It's got a nice surround sound. If you, it kind of, not exactly surround sound, but it sounds nice, comparatively speaking, to like just a generic pair of uh, headphones. Here is my iPad Pro. I use this every day, multiple hours a day with the, uh, of course, the Apple Pencil, which you need that. I have that. Over here is a RGB mat. So this is really cool. I really like this. All of this is customizable. You press this little button here and then it changes into uh, a multitude of different colors, literally every color you would ever possibly want on it. And it even does these cool transitions or fades, um, which it's kind of doing right now, which you can see, of course. So I'll just leave it on this one. This one's really trippy. But uh, overall, yep, moving the mouse again. Here is my main setup, which I'll talk to you about here in a second. Got a temporary keyboard. This is actually the keyboard that came with the HB Omen. It's okay. It's got a decent tactile feel to it, but overall I would like to upgrade that eventually. Um, essentials here, of course, you have to have some sort of caffeinated beverage. Coughing and Wolverine, because Wolverine's uh, obviously the best superhero. He can kill anybody and he always lives and he's just amazing. So you guys should uh, check Wolverine out if you don't like him. That's coughing right there. Pokemon. Yep. Light. This one is pretty interesting. I have this remote here, which I can of course change the color to the bulb, to red, to yellow, to whatever color you really like. And also on top of that, it can go back to like a warm color. Or if I press it again, it's a cool white and you can change it from 50% to 100%, 10%. So I really like this light. It's quite a versatile light. And um, I don't remember exactly where I picked it up off of. I think it was off of Amazon. So if I can find that, if you guys are interested, let me know. I'd be happy to give you the product for that. Um, down here is my poor cable management system. Uh, it kind of works, but you can see it's it, it kind of works. I've got these, these tubes up here at the top, which help maintain the wire issue. Uh, I don't have enough outlets, but uh, it kind of works. I have an extender over here and a light down here. Uh, for kind of projection of different colors, just like this guy, it can change to all kinds of colors as well. But right now I just have it on the purple kind of theme, as you can see here. On the back, you probably already noticed that I do have a strip that expands all the way around and it looks just like this. So I really like that. It gives a nice, um, it kind of eases your eyes when you're working at nighttime. So you don't have just your monitor as the brights, the, the bright, the brightness, I don't even know how to say it. But yeah, if you just had the monitor and it was nighttime, it kind of hurts your eyes a little bit. So the ambient light coming from the LED strip certainly helps quite a bit. Um, and then here, you guys probably saw in another video of mine, which I have a link to this down in the description below. This is my Huion 22 Plus tablet and monitor. So what you do is you take this guy right here, 
not Pikachu. Pikachu is the best Pokemon. And uh, you take your tablet right here, your pen, and you draw wherever you want to be. It's amazing. It's literally the best tablet I've ever owned. And I have a full review of it. So if you guys like digital illustration or sculpting or really anything that you kind of like to use your main screen as a monitor and a tablet, this is the product for you. And it's not overly priced by any means. Great picture, great quality. Again, whole description. Uh, the whole review and unboxing of it is in the description below. So check that out if you guys like that setup. But I really like this setup here. I've got my 27 inch Philips 4K monitor uh, right here. And then right below it, of course, is the Huion 22 Plus. And I think that just together, these things look sick. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But the way I typically do it is there's a hinge here. I pull it down and then now I can kind of like scoot it out of the way. And now I have full access to the keyboard, the mouse and everything else that I need to. So really whenever I'm using this, of course I'll take this out and then um, when I'm not using it, I'll turn it off and then I'll push it kind of back in the back there. So over here, I have my wireless charger and Pikachu's guarding that. So I take my phone, drop it on there and it charges so I can be charging my phone at the same time I'm working on my computer and doing some illustration or whatever it is. And that's really it. So overall, I mean, heck, I, it kind of works for me. Like I said, it's not my ideal setup. It certainly is not my ideal place, but it, again, it works. It's currently in my master bedroom. The desk I'm gonna change in the future, the legs I'm gonna change in the future, I'm gonna do some upgrading to the computer itself, and obviously a new keyboard, among other things, and plenty more of these. Lots more of these. These are Monster Energy. I don't really care, either one. They're great. Coffee is wonderful too. I'm a caffeine fanatic, as you might have already noticed. And I'll probably pick up a couple more of these. There's also gonna be some sound foam, uh, if, you're, if you're not familiar with that, I'll put some foam blocks up there in the corners. I'm sorry, the whole wall. So all this wall and all of this wall will be foam matted or foam padded to help with the bouncing of my voice off of these walls. But overall, guys, let me know what you guys think in the description below of my setup. I would love to kind of hear what you might improve. Obviously, cable management is one of them. <laughs> we know that, folks. We know that. So let's ignore that for now. And uh, yeah, we'll just love to hear what you guys have to think about my, my setup. Like I said, 27 inch 4K monitor, my 22 inch plus uh, monitor down here, keyboard, wired mouse as well, iPad Pro, which I use literally all the time, is usually over here on this side. So I can be doing something on this while I'm looking over here and multitasking at the same time. And overall, yeah, I, I really like the setup. I love my current setup that I've got. And I'm gonna give you guys a much more thorough uh, video coming up next on what I'm going to do in this area and how I'm going to produce something you guys have to stick around for. So smash that subscribe button, press the like button or the dislike button, whichever one you guys prefer. Of course, I prefer the like button. It gives you more kudos and generally more luck in life. So press that like button and um, yeah, just comment. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your thoughts and I would love to say hi to you and uh, I will see you in the next one. Say bye, Pikachu. Go ahead. Uh,